Okay. Now we're going to go through using the Whole Food Resource Guide and the Meal Planning Guide. All right? And, and this guide starts in Section 2 of your reference guide. The color coding that you're going to see in the meal planning guide, green are the primary foods that you can consume freely. I'm not telling you to count calories, okay? You don't have to. These foods will fill you up and you will know when you are full. Do not eat past being full. It is that simple. Okay? Green are the foods you want to build your meal plan on. Live there. Find out different ways to make them if you want to. Get good with how you, how you change them up. But live in the green section. Yellow. Yellow are the foods that you want to accent those meals with. Yellow, foods in the yellow section can accent the green. You can use them as a sideline type of thing. You know, like you'll see, I think in this section here, if you look at breakfast, which is 2.2, our primary breakfast proteins are eggs, cottage cheese, beef, beef, hey, steak and eggs, okay? It's okay. <laughs> beef is good for breakfast. Or grass-fed whey protein. These are your primary proteins. Every morning, I, I pretty much do my protein shake. It's kind of what I do. Again, it's easy. I feel really good after I drink it. It reminds me to get my supplements in in the morning, and it's just my routine. That's what I do. But if I do eggs, I might want to go out and get some of the venison breakfast sausage that I've got out in the freezer and, and have a link of breakfast sausage or two links of breakfast sausage with it. Or if, I can, if I've found some good sourced bacon, and I know the, the pigs aren't eating a bunch of junk and living in terrible conditions, I'll have a couple slices of bacon with my eggs. Okay, that's an accent food. I, I wouldn't recommend building your meal plan around a, a slab of bacon. Use it as an accent. I like the flavor too, but don't make it your primary protein. Does that, does that all make sense? It's pretty easy, isn't it? And then the red foods are the ones that you really, these are like what I call the 10 percenters. You really just do not use the red foods consistently. They are, they are a food that every now and then might pop up in your meal plan. The, the foods in the red section are the types of foods that will probably compromise the, the health goals you have if you eat them a lot. If they're minimal, not going to be a problem. But if you start making them staples in your meal plan, they do not carry a lot of nutrition, and they're not going to get you to the goals that you have. Okay. So your primary protein and fat, as I said, primary protein describes a core whole food for your meal plan, and those are the primary foods that you must, um, that must be one of the chief focuses in your day-to-day -day nutritional intake. Look for those green foods and focus on them. Plan for those foods. The secondaries are not to men meant to be primary, but will accent. They will help give you the variety. Primary carbohydrates. I want to make this very clear. Okay? The primary carbohydrates in the meal planning section, in the whole food guide in the meal planning section, are going to be whole food carbohydrates. And if you didn't know, fruits and vegetables are carbs. That's, what, that's the class they live in. So primary carbohydrates are going to be whole food carbs in the form of produce. And you want to make sure you know how that produce was grown, remember? Food sourcing, that's very, very important. So fruits, fruit, vegetables, um, and when I say vegetables there, I mean low starch vegetables. Root vegetables would be high starch vegetables. Like those are your potatoes, sweet potatoes, turnips, parsnips, those types of things that have a higher starch content. Those are your primary carbohydrates. Use those as your first carbohydrate source. And then your secondaries, um, I wouldn't even include grains in secondaries. I would, I would put grains and foods that are made with grains more in 
kind of the red category, not, not eating a ton of grain-based foods. So, quick steps of implementation of this plan. First and foremost, set a date to convert that food sourcing plan and your meal plan. And if it's not just one date, if it's a week, plan what you're going to do each day as your conversion factors. Plan it out. Because if you don't plan, I can promise you, it's not going to happen the way that you think it should. You're going to be disappointed in yourself, and again, you're going to feel like you failed. Number two, use the simple recipes in the meal planning section. We have a ton of recipes just in your resource guide, in your reference guide there. Um, I've got it here. Okay, You can find recipes anywhere. But what you'll do is you'll use those recipes for more of inspiration. And remember, remember, you will use what you learned in lesson three to change out ingredients. If you find a recipe that you like, but it's full of all kinds of stuff that you know, this does not meet my meal plan, just switch out the ingredients that don't fit. If they say, you know, low-fat cheese or skim milk, just put whole milk instead. It's that easy. Just switch out, switch out the different type of food. <laughs> 